Political taggers have struck Austin, Texas. The billboard behind me is an advertisement for a motivational seminar featuring war criminals to be held today at the Austin Convention Center. The graffiti on this sign presents strong political points that are generally unknown to the public because the establishment media has hidden the truth or at best has minimized it. Now we're going to get some people's reaction to the billboard and then we're heading to the convention center to get motivated. Well, it's a pretty brave person got up there. I think it's, uh, I think it's opening their minds and uh, I think it's a good thing that people are awakening to what's really going on in America. I believe the yellow cake refers to the uranium, radioactive material that Saddam Hussein exactly. was doing. Yeah, uh, supposedly tried to purchase from Niger, which right. ended up being totally false. I believe that was the, uh, the, the yellow cake coming out of Niger that okay. supposedly Saddam Hussein purchased, which was never, was found not to be true. There were no weapons of mass destruction, so I would ask Colin Powell, where are the weapons, weapons of mass destruction, you know? If you got to ask, let's say, Colin Powell a question, what would you ask him? I'd ask him if, uh, if he was against the Bush administration with its war mongering how he feels about Obama. You know, if I had a chance to ask Colin Powell a question, I'd probably ask him, what's it like being in the Oval Office? I think to be able to just have that sense of presence and, and being in a place that's so powerful but yet historic is just it's, it's astronomical. I think we all make mistakes, and uh, certainly if we don't forgive others for those mistakes, we can't expect to be forgiven ourselves for those. It's a pretty big mistake, you know, going to war. I mean, you know, that's, that's a pretty big one. That's you know, true. Some people don't think it was a mistake. It might have even been intentional that, he, you know, he brought in props and he actually lied to Congress and to the U.N. for us to go to war. Um, I can't really speak on his own, uh, you know, motives for doing that if he, if he did indeed do that. Um, I don't know if it's proven that he did lie, um, but I, I can say that he was a very, he's a motivational man, he's a good leader, and I think we can learn a lot from him. So he actually addressed the crowd, were they pretty responsive, and he talked about TSA pat-downs, and did he ex talk about expanding the TSA to include bus terminals, subway stations, or was it just airports? No, he was just basically talking about the general experience in the airport, um, and he made it humorous. Um, which kind of disarms people and, sure. and, and makes it less threatening. I quit flying because of it. I, I will not get on an airplane anymore. Some people think that McChrystal was responsible for exploiting Pat Tillman's murder. Do you buy into that or what are your thoughts? What, if you could ask McChrystal a question, what would it be? I would ask him what his role was in Pat Tillman's uh, cover-up, the, the death of the Pat Tillman cover-up. That's what I would ask him. McChrystal, I'd ask him if he knew anything about, Matt, uh, about Tillman, you know, before before he got killed, you know, what information passed by his desk. Now this billboard was tagged on Thanksgiving, but the graffiti still remains, which means during the past few days, the people of Austin, Texas, have been subjected to a glimpse of the unvarnished truth. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News.